welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today we are meeting up with Christy and we're catching up about how she's doing and what's going on, but also more importantly, we're talking about the topic of working in Wisconsin at the moment, because she has been making some comments to me in our personal discussions that I think you're gonna find very interesting. So she kind of talks about what it's like going back to work full time, and then we go into what's happening with unemployment right now in Wisconsin, and it's very interesting. So stay tuned, subscribe, here we go. Hey, welcome back, Christy. Good to see you. Look at how tan you are. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It's welcome summer. to lacrosse season. <laughs> so is that your hair? Is it getting colored that color? Or is that from the sun? Oh my. Mm, no, I think this is from aging. Mm -hmm. It's white. <laughs> no, aging. it's really blonde. Like, I mean, we've been on videos with you all year and it's not normally this blonde. Okay, well, it might be between hair dye, getting older, and I've completely sunburned myself. This is my skin, people, not a tank top, okay? So let's just see, say the SPF 50. Well, when you put it on after the day is over and then you put it on, it doesn't work as well. Oh my goodness. Just saying, just, just saying. saying. It's good to see you. To How's see winter? You. Uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I, yeah, it's pretty nice. We have like random days of just like solid rain, but then it's like totally sunny today and beautiful. So oh my it's never gosh. really I just, that cold. I don't wear more than a sweatshirt going out where I yes, am, please. where I am. You know, like if you went North, it's going to be warmer. If you went South, it's going to be colder, but I'm kind of in the middle. So anyway, today let's talk about, let's just catch up, right? It's just been a while since we've kind of talked on here. And then also let's talk about like working. And I just want to talk about some of the things that I've heard you kind of comment on recently that's going on in Wisconsin with the unemployment and the new benefits due to COVID and just people kind of starting to get back into the real world and then adjusting to, you know, um, job loss from last year and then like when to go back to work and then maybe I want a different job and da, 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 all these things going on. All the things. Yes. All the things. Well, you know, I've had a huge transition because I went back to work full time and I haven't been full time in 10 mm. years. Wow. So yeah. that was a huge transition and I transitioned into our summer working full-time while well, I'm used to being with kids full-time in the summer and oh, right. doing the beach and running people here and there. So getting dressed and looking nice and going to a building eight hours a day has been a little brutal for me. <laughs> Fair enough. And also if people don't know, the summers in the U.S. are three months. They're, they're very long. <laughs> they're not the six weeks like you get here. So yeah. Yeah. So we covet those and and it's really hard on the, like, you only get the weekends to really do anything. But if you have children and if they're in sports of any kind, well, that's when the sports are, is on mm -hmm. the weekend. So you don't really get like downtime per se, or like, hey, time to do laundry time. Like, right. We, we no, it's an it. adjustment going back to work for sure. For oh. Sure. But in some Cute. ways, a lot easier. Can we just say that? It's a lot yes. easier than being with the kids. Okay. <laughs> and I say, depending on what ages you're dealing with, it's right. just a whole different ball game. Yeah. Yeah. I, some days I'm like, bye. And then other days I'm like, oh, I wish we were going to the beach. And, and then I'm like, right. Bye. So right. yeah, right. but you're all, so true. It, Here's what I am having such a hard time adjusting to. Okay. And let me just say, getting to know New Zealand a little bit more, it's making me a little bit jealous that you people seem to have figured out how to work and work well and rest and rest well. In America, we do not do that. Okay. So with the social media, with the cell phone, with the email, now you can't get a day off. I mean, even when you're off, you're not off. And it's expected here to work, 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 work. And my top priority is my family. 
So this is a huge adjustment for me as I go to ask my employer for different things. Did this in the past, even now, it is definitely frowned upon to take time off. How about oh, you? hundred percent. That's what I remember too. Like even just a little bit of time off, even if like, even if you're supposed to work from like eight to five and like, but then everybody actually works seven to six, right? Because yes. they're trying to outdo each other. Yeah. <laughs> And so like when you leave at five, because you have a family, they're like, oh, she's leaving at yeah. five. Girl. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm like, Karen, listen. Yes. Karen, stop overworking. Karen, stop telling me, you know, what is going, ah, I have things to do. I have a life outside of this little bubble thing we've got going here where I get paid poorly. So. Anyway. No, yeah, it's just very <clears throat> working hard and always being at work is, I think you said it recently to me, it's like, it's just, you have that, you're a team player if you do that. If you go home, yes. you're not a team player. Yeah, and, so and I mean, value. Yeah, so you feel guilty. Yes. So like and mom guilt for mothers at work oh. in the U.S. is way different than here. Brutal, <laughs> brutal. I really don't even know. I never had to go back. I'm very grateful. I never had to go back when my kids were babies. Mm -hmm. How in the world do women go back when they're not sleeping through the night? Their body has completely had an overhaul and it's not fun. I know because in and, the U.S. you have to go back at six weeks. Um, then you have like... The, nobody's sleeping. Nobody's yeah, you sleeping. Get, you get six more weeks, but I believe like they're unpaid. Like, I don't know. I'm not up to date on my... FMLA. Yeah, you don't get paid. I, I think they are on pay. I can't yeah, remember. Or you can pay and then like six weeks. And it all depends on your company. Some companies are a lot yes. better. Do you know what I mean? I'm yes. just talking in general though. And then there's, yes. the, then there's the daycare costs are very expensive. In fact, I looked at a statistic recently is much more expensive than it is in New Zealand. And so like you're going back to work, then you're barely, you know, you're working like crazy. You're barely making any money after daycare costs. <laughs> And you're not with your child. So okay. it's a total catch what I would call 22. It's yeah. a catch 22 mm -hmm. because 20 years ago when I worked in the sales world doing advertising sales, I didn't have children yet. Okay. So I'm traveling, making commission, making a base salary while the gal next to me has two children. Okay. Mm -hmm. She's dishing out 20 years ago, $30,000 a year. I said to her, I hope you are making a killing in here because if you're not, you're spending half of your salary to drop your kid off. What? Yeah. I mean, it's before oh. tax, before tax, tax taking the other half. So what do we really do? And so the, a lot of people, that was an actual decision that people made in the U.S. to stay yes. home because okay. it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make, depending on what industry and how much money you make in it, doesn't make sense. And so at di different times, it didn't make sense for me either. And so it was like that. But here you get, you can get like a year off for sure. Then I think there's more you can get. Yeah. All paid and you're not losing your job. And yeah, there's just like a lot of support for that. And there's no thought of like that you can't go to work because you have kids. And if you have to go get a kid or you have to leave and do that, da, 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 I do whatever I want, whatever I want, basically. <laughs> And that's okay. They just like get your job done, whatever. Um, if you need to get your kids, you need an appointment. Like it would, if I ever said that to my boss, it would never be a problem. The only problem that they ever have with me is that I'm not taking my paid time off. <laughs> They're like, you need oh, to take my. your weeks because they really believe that you cannot work efficiently. They actually believe this. They believe this, like in a value system here, that you cannot work efficiently for a whole year without, you know, your four weeks holiday. Uh, and a significant portion at a time. No, I know. Like it's okay. <laughs> okay. With all the, okay. I don't know if New Zealand talks about this a lot, but especially since COVID and especially since kind of after COVID, the big words this last year has been mm. mental health. Yes. Here's the thing. Americans are literally making ourselves crazy because we, we tap ourselves out. 
we tap ourselves out at home, we tap ourselves out at work, and then even vacations are tapped out because you're trying to cram everything in about a five day um, week because you most people only get two weeks off when you first start a job in, in America. Mm -hmm. You get two weeks paid vacation. And like at my personal job now, I get PTO. See, I don't really understand these words. So PTO and vacation. So I thought PTO was like, if I'm going to a, like a doctor's appointment, like I guess PTO, yeah. but I don't know if that's right. I might have to take vacation for that. See, this is where it gets confusing. Um, but you have to be at a company for years before they give you three weeks off. No, I know. It's very hard to get three weeks. Very hard. Yeah. And you need to be a VP if you're going to get four. Yeah, absolutely true. In and, general. Yeah. In general. Yeah. And in fact, in general, I meet with a lot of yes. Americans that have just moved here. And the, the consistent message that I hear is that they haven't taken a day off in years. They're, they don't like just because, okay, just because you are technically allowed HR wise rules, laws, whatever, employment law, yeah. you get the two weeks. It doesn't mean it's encouraged. <laughs> your boss will be like, you want to take the two weeks? And I'm like, eh, I don't think so. You're going to take your two weeks. It makes you feel bad about it. You know what I mean? So it's, I so know what you mean. I, I am having such a hard time adjusting because again, my priorities are so, so different than many, um, that work and have always worked like women, you know, I'm talking about women cause that's what I am. So this is, I can speak to this where my, if I ask to leave early, it's it's, we're not sure if that's going to work. If I want to take time off, it has to be like pre-planned. So, okay. So like, let's say I wake up tomorrow and I can tell my daughter's having a hard day and I really need to just take a personal day to just be with her. That would be nearly impossible to pull off. And that doesn't work for me. I'm like, what is happening? Why are we allowing this in America? Now that I'm kind of in the corporate world, I'm like, no, I don't want to do this. Why are we doing this? And, you know, I know someone who's at a VP level where he works, he worked through his weekend. He, you know, at his kid's sporting event, he had to keep thinking about what he had to do when he got back to the hotel, you know, it's that kind of stuff. And you're like, for what? I don't know. I don't know if we're, I get it that there's some jobs you have to be on like that, but holy crap, we are really killing ourselves. We're all exhausted. You really, you really are. We all have anxiety. We have depression and nobody can sleep. What? <laughs> yeah. So that, that doesn't Lord, surprise Lord. me now that I was looking at some of the new laws, specifically in Wisconsin. Now there's, you know, 50 states. So we're not trying to talk about everything. We're not talking about, trying to talk about the whole right. law because we got state right. law, we got federal law, bleh, you know, it, and then yeah. let me just tell you, like going back into like all of this rules and regulations and unemployment and what you can get and all these services. And it just pulled me right back in to the freaking hassle it is. <laughs> <laughs> to try to get anything. And I read story after story after story about different people's situations and how this government program didn't work for them in full. And this government program didn't work for them. And da, 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 all these different situations, you're like, oh my gosh. And how oh. they're not getting money. So like if someone's on disability for like the last 20 years and they go to file for this extra unemployment, they can't get it because they're already getting it. And, and it was like, but they still lost their job. I mean, it was just like services cannot connect. <laughs> So anyway, just no. to give the audience, yeah, the, like the summary of what is happening. So during COVID, um, if you lost your job, unemployment was like $600 a week, it sounds like in the U.S., in, in Wisconsin specifically. And then that ended. And then now they're at, but they still have added 300 on top of what it would normally be just to get people back on their feet through starting September 1st. They're going to do away with the additional $300. Although the governor is saying that he is going to keep it. People are lobbying against it because businesses are having a hard time hiring. So what I'm hearing is it's summertime there. People are like, mm, 
I just won't make as much yeah. money over the summer because this goes until September 1st. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so like, yeah. there's apparently like tons of, and this is what you've been saying. Like there's, there's everybody is searching for workers are giving thousand dollar bonuses. They're increasing their per hourly rate. And like, this is so interesting. So like, you're trying to help people get back in the workforce, but yet they're not going to go until September 1st. And so now I have all these businesses can't even, now I'm seeing that these businesses cannot even run their full business, right? Because Correct. it doesn't workers to do it. So they're doing partial, partial business. And so if you don't have businesses running, then it doesn't mean that that business is even going to survive till September. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's fascinating. It's insane. I have never, I do not remember this in my lifetime, my no, little lifetime here. I that. don't remember this. I go the other day to Culver's. So Culver's is like a, a high end fast food place high here in America. So good. Yeah. Yeah. So love the chicken tenders. How are Anyway, so, so I'm pulling in and I'm like, Ooh, I'm going to go in. So I feel like I'm getting a break on my 30 minute lunch break. <laughs> we just talked about that. Okay what can you do in 30 minutes when you have to get in the car, get to the, anyway. Okay. So that's beside the point. So 30 minute lunch break. So I go to get out to go into the lobby and I'm pulling on the door and the door is locked. And I'm like, okay, it's 1130 AM. This is your prime time working. I look up, there is a, um, a sign that says, sorry, lobby closed because we don't have enough workers say what I, what is happening what is happening i look over to taco bell again fast food don't eat there it'll give you a stomach ache but anyway beside the point they have a sign that says part-time full-time 18 dollars an hour now you guys have to understand i think our minimum wage is still 725 I believe it's something like that is minimum wage. Wow. Now it's starting to get pushed up to around 15 seems to be like when I'm looking on Indeed, which is our, our way to look for jobs that are available online, mm -hmm. it, everything is now $10 and higher. It, like there's no more under $10 now. So that's very really? interesting. Mm -hmm. that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And so Again, minimum wage hasn't gone up, but the employers are so wanting workers. I, okay, my favorite small shop in town who's locally owned by this woman, really love her stuff. Just got an email yesterday. She no longer can keep her cute little shop open. She's going to have to go wow. online because she amazing. cannot get workers. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So here's, here's my, again, everybody has an opinion about how the money thing is and unemployment and blah, blah, blah. This is literally just my opinion. We all get them. So have a heyday, but I, the unemployment has been going too long. We have been giving free money, which I think is hilarious because it's not free. We will end up paying this back in some way, shape or form in taxes. <laughs> so Right. So in, like we just now got another child tax credit. Right. Now we're getting like $250 per kid under the age of 18. You're getting, Why? There's another one coming? Yeah, I just, we just got it this month. We're getting it again next month and the month after. I, I don't get it. Oh, is this, is this from the state or from the federal level? I think it's the state. The state. Okay. So, yeah. I really wish God bless him that he would stop doing that just because again, it, it's encouraging people in general. Like you said, why would you go to work? If when you go to work, you can't even make as much as you do staying home. So it's not even a financially wise choice to go, to go back to work. Yeah. So this so, is getting crazy. Well, so that's so interesting because like, it, it's, it's cool because like people could have, get a really great job at a great price right now. I was even reading that like people that were working in wait, like a waiter, waitress, you know how they rely so much on tips. Yeah. They're like not going back to that job and going, working at the quick trip, which is a gas station, petrol station. And cause they're getting, you know, 11, $15 an hour, whatever. 
so much more than they get paid. Yes. You're going to put the time in, you know what I mean? And then there's a lot of issues I was reading also about people not wanting to go back to work as a bartender or whatever, because even though people are supposed to wear masks, they don't always. And it's just like, you're just feeling like you're, you know, like you don't have any control and they don't really treat you like a person. That was their perspective, you know, that they just want what they want when they want it, you know? And so that's yeah. interesting. And yeah, so like just, and, and then people were saying that a lot of times families are waiting till September 1st specifically because, um, then they wouldn't have to pay the daycare, right? So the kids go back to school in September. And so then might as well make sense for me to go back at that point or start applying at that point. And so that should be interesting. I'm interested to see how the shift changes starting September, but it may not if, you know, they're still going to get paid the unemployment. So, right. It's going to be really interesting to see. And, and don't get me wrong there. I believe there is a small few that really do need this help right now. And I'm happy to do that. And I think that's the right, right. Because some that. people have no small job and they need field. to eat. Right. Like, yes. And we, and I'm all for it. I'm all for helping out people who are down and out and work, you know, doing their best. Can't seem to get on their feet. It happens. It is. It's well, happened question, to me. My question is if you collecting the unemployment, what are the rules around actually applying for work? So like when I was on unemployment, you have to apply for work and you have to prove it and you have to go to a certain number of interviews. Okay. So for the last year, it has been no proof. Oh, well, that's why. That's why people are sitting at home. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. So they, I know it's, mm, oh, that's not good. Okay. No. So they just started it. When did they start it? Was it March? Yeah, it was March. Okay, that they just started it going back to you had to start um, applying. Yeah, applying. Yeah, and start showing. Right, because it looks like if you applied at the Taco Bell, they would hire you. So, yeah, and at this point, you literally could get hired anywhere. I'm half tempted. I have told you this before. I I do not have a college degree. I am. I love people. I love to help. I love to advocate. I love networking, sales, marketing, and then also like counseling and that kind of stuff. I'm half tempted to go try to get a job that requires a degree right now because I can be taught the things that most people need to go to college to learn. I can be taught that, but social skills and how you deal and interact with people, you either have it or you don't. And I'm curious in this economy, because there's nobody's working as if maybe people like me, we might get a step up in a job that could be like, what they would have never looked at us mm-hmm. before. And now we might get an opportunity. Well, so based, yeah, based on what I was reading, that's definitely happening. They're saying we'll take anybody. Well, you know, they're, they're eliminating a lot of the requirements and college degree is just not as important in general in the world economy anymore. And it's just, you know, if you have the skills and you can do it and you're motivated and you're, you know, you know, a positive person. <laughs> right. Oh, gosh. That helps. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's just been wild here. You just, you just. Well, can't another, yeah. Another point that I just thought of that was a big one is that there isn't a labor shortage. So there's in Wisconsin specifically so much of the, um, population is growing old. And so there isn't a not a lot of younger people to do the jobs. And so they're actually asking for retired people to come out of retirement and to do jobs if they're up for it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Um, And yeah, like there's, I mean, that's a big one. So a lot of people are saying that this, this, um, this problem that they're having getting employees is, is something that's more to do, not just with you know, what's happened in 2020, but it's also just this growing old shortage of labor. So that's interesting. So if you're not in Wisconsin and you really need a job, might want to move there. Right. (laughs) Options. Exactly. Well, and I feel like to the, the older generation, the boomers, they were, they were doers, they were workers, they were go, 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 go. And now the other generation coming up, they, they're a little more savvy with, Hey, if I'm going to use my time, I'm going to make sure I'm making more money with 
smaller amounts of time that I have to be stuck at a desk. They're just smarter about digital things and, and online and the computer. I mean, that's like second nature for them. Right. My generation and older, it's not, I'm really, I mean, unless you've stayed in the workforce, you're fine. Like you, you've, you've stayed in it enough yes, where you just grew so up it. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's the whole time. She's like, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah well, your I don't keep up. need to keep up. I don't feel so bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm trying to do an Excel spreadsheet today and I'm like I'm highlighting, I'm losing the cells or the columns or the cut and paste. The cut and paste wasn't even working. I'm like, Cut and paste should be universal. I don't care what little, uh, anyway. No, I know. 45 minutes later. Right, there's Microsoft, then there's Apple, and they do it differently on purpose so that you continue to buy their products. So don't get me started on that, but. Okay, sounds anyway, good. Anyway, so anyway, <laughs> I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me today about working, kind of an update of what's going on in Wisconsin, because I find that fascinating that people are like, they're trying to find workers and nobody's working and everybody's just saying, hey, it's summer, let's enjoy. So, you know, talking about what you are talking about earlier in terms of like, people not taking time to rest well they are now <laughs> yep <laughs> well it seems like the the small few of us working aren't allowed to take breaks and then those who are not willing to work well hey hey have, go get a drink ha, go to the beach enjoy yourself and us working are like Yay! we're dying over here so Love it. Love whatever it. Love hopefully it. next year Wisconsin will be back in session of work Everybody works, everybody rests. Let's do it. Yeah, that would be a big value change. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'm moving. Yeah, you are. You. Yeah, you are. Mm -hmm. They don't know. They don't know. Mm -hmm. They don't know what they're missing. I'm telling you. Okay. Oh, they know. And they want you. Oh, they <laughs> well, good. Girl, just tell them we need a show. We need a show. Yeah, we're doing a show, girl. We got to get a show going. We need a show. Yep. I know. We need a show. Hmm. And then I'll be your roommate. Don't you rent out? Yes, I got plenty of room. Yes. I know. The border is leaving. There's a room. Come on over. Too bad you can't get in. <laughs> I know, right? Darn. Oh, that's all. That's for another day, too. All that stuff right. going. We on. could, like, yeah, we could get like a petition going. <laughs> yes, <laughs> get enough exactly. people. <laughs> and then I just need a lot of meds so that I can pass out on the fly. Yeah, we'll just pass you like, out. You wake up and we'll be like, oh, life is so much easier. Yoda, welcome to New Zealand. <laughs> love it. I love All it. Right. I miss you, girl. Miss you. Have a great day. See you. You too. We'll see ya. Well, thank you for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the video with Christy and talking about work life right now in Wisconsin. If you like this content and you like what you see, please subscribe below because we do a video every week and you're not going to want to miss it. Also, please click the link below and check out my new American recipe book, which is some of your favorite American recipes that I have adapted to New Zealand ingredients, New Zealand temperatures, uh, just so making it easy for you guys to make it here in New Zealand. So Hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you next week.